Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we Hello and welcome to this edition of Center Coast Bass Fishing Shows. I'm back here at Test Pond, even in its dismal condition. And in today's show, I'm going to be fishing around for a few days, mostly throwing a drop shot. Uh, might throw a finesse jig, might throw something flicking, maybe even spinnerbait a little bit. But I'm going to be doing most of it right across from me. Right over there along those reeds. Well, in the previous video, that's the juggle side where I have my spots cut. Uh, it's getting so low. That's the deepest water. That seems to be where they are. So I'm going to go over there and, like I said, mostly focus on our plastics on a drop shot and experiment with some other stuff and, well, see what happens. Hope you enjoy the show. Outside chance. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> After I just did a show, ah, on the spear bait. Ah. There's one. Oh, ho, ho. Good little keeper. Yeah, look at that. Good little keeper, and he came right up here, right in front, and grabbed that thing almost right off the top. It's on the uh, flipping slash dropping boat, black and blue. Although he flicked it off, and then I think that might be my last one. Good fish, though. Let's let him go. Whoa. Oh, well, I'll be damned. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there's another fish. He freaking popped it pretty hard, man. Catch one of these guys. Oh, there's a hit. Oh, I stuck him. Oh, and I lost him. I think that was actually another keeper. Might have been the ones that have been playing with me out in that one spot. This thing he actually ate. Dropped it too. It just poop. Went slack. Man. Didn't get any good enough. Alright. I get another one. I guess brighter might be the key. Or it was just a random fish. Finally. Oh! There's another one. Oh! Jesus! I think that was the same fish. Just did the same thing. He's got a nest right there. 
That was the same thing. I hooked him there and he went right there. Right there. Again. From right there. Right there. Alright, I don't know what's up with that. I don't know. I've seen him spawn as late as August in here. So I don't know. If I get him a third time, something's up. Yeah, that, that's just a great spot and there's a lot of fish in there. Well, we'll see. Twice I missed him. This is when I'm fishing on him. Chartreuse green pumpkin drop and stick. Mm, it's in the same exact. Whoops. Oh, ho, 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 ho. man. I'm losing so many of these baits suddenly. I don't know what's up. That was a really good pop, too, in a totally different place. Set a hook, I miss him again, and I lose my bait again. Man, what is the deal? It's three fish in like 10 minutes, and I haven't been able to get any of them. Alright. A few more of this color left. Might have to get myself my own new package of them. It's this the green pumpkin pepper chartreuse. For some reason, they're hitting it out here. Oh, there he is. Well, maybe that's not him. That's not a keeper. He hit in closer. It's a fish, though. It's not a little teeny one. And guess what? Yep, he threw my bait again. Oh, well. Oh no. Oh no. Yep. Alright, ain't that a pooper at all? I'll get out. Lose all those baits, miss all those fish, and now I get snagged and have to break off. Alright, I think that's going to do it for this day. I'll come back here tomorrow and see if I can get him on the same bait. All right, I'm just going to take a little time out right now, give you a little heads up on the actual baits I'm using and the rod I'm using and the setup. Uh, like I said, this show mostly focusing on the drop shot. Uh, I've been trying some other stuff, jigs, flicking. Seems to be the drop shot deal. Uh, since that last show, the swimming bait thing for some reason just died. And I'm gonna throw it once in a while, might get a couple fish, but drop shot seems to be a deal. And I've been mixing it up, uh, trying a bunch of different baits. There's a few that have been consistent so far, and those are the uh, drop and stick. This one's in a lighter color, it's our chartreuse watermelon pepper laminate. Uh, also, been throwing around and trying the uh, green pumpkin pepper with the chartreuse tip, uh, pumpkin pepper with the chartreuse tip. Uh, also been trying our flipping slash dropping bug. This one's in a, the pumpkin pepper chartreuse laminate. This one's in the uh, black blue laminate. Also throwing around our uh, pocket craw. Uh, this one's the uh, green pumpkin red laminate but the funny thing is this water you can tell it's so dirty it's four or five inch visibility it's paper bag brown most people would think this dark color i mean that's why i went to the black and blue and i've, I've tried dark green pumpkin i've tried browns i've tried a lot of even our black blue laminate drop and sick and i would get hits but it's like they would hit it and they would just drop it since we went to these lighter colors, it's like, they'll hit it, but I'm hooking them. So I don't know. I always tell people that just because the water's kind of dirty, they always want to go dark. Sometimes going to lighter colors could actually be the key. And as far as the rod and reel set up in the line, again, 10-pound line, 
uh, have this hooked up about, I don't know, about eight inch from the bottom, 10 inch from the bottom, a Gamagatsu number one drop shot hook. Uh, it's actually rated as medium heavy. This is a, an old, old beta re, uh, rod that I use for this. It's a really soft tip, more like a medium. The reel, again, uh, 6 2 to 1. That doesn't really matter because I'm just reeling it and slow rolling it. But pretty much, that's the deal. Like I said, I've, I've, I've tried jigs in this. Uh, from here on out, jigs might happen. I've been flicking some of our gotcha sticks and stuff, but it just seems to be on a drop shot deal. I mean, every once in a while, maybe something on the spinnerbait, but. That's what I'm using, that's what I'm going to keep using, that's the setup, and let's get back to the action. Oh, there's the fish. Little guy. But it's a fish. Yeah, I know, it's a little guy. It's on the... Pumpkin pepper. Oh well. Oh, there's one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Took it and headed straight for the reeds. I got him barely hooked. <laughs> There's one. Ho, 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 ho. Little guy, and I yanked him way out of the water, but man, he hit that thing hard. Alright, that's a little fish. Got a cormorant mark on him. Alright. Let's see if there's more. Oh, shit. That was a fish and a hit and he stripped me. Now I'm all stuck in the reeds. Oh well, at least it was another hit. Oh, there's a fish. He's a little bit bigger. Better than the little teeny ones. Wow, he's long. Alright, let's see if there's more out here. There's one. <laughs> little guy again. Little guy. Back to that color. Oh well. It's a day of little ones. There's one. Oh ho. -ho. Another little one. Smacked it good though. Oh, there's fish. Look at that. Pretty much a little keeper. On the spinnerbait, new color. I'm calling it green brown lavender craw. There's the color. Anyway, you messed up my trailer.
Oh, there's one. Oh. Well, I just said I couldn't get a hit on the drop shot. And then I go and catch a little one. Oh, and he threw my bait. Got it good. Had it good down his throat. Not bad. So got something on drop shot. I think it's gonna be a later bite. Oh, there's one. Oh yeah. Might be a catfish. No. Yep, it's a catfish. Look at that. I was wondering if I was going to get one on film. And sure enough, that's a catfish. He's got that hook in him good, too. You have to get out the pliers. There you go. By the way, there's catfish in here and they like to hit my bass baits. And he's grinding. <laughs> and there he goes. Oh, there's one. Oh. Jesus. Little guy. Little guy thumped it. Woo -hoo, fish on the board. Oh, there's a fish. I thought I was stuck. Another little guy. Yeah, I've switched up colors now. Green pumpkin, chartreuse tail. There's a fish. Oh, it's a keeper, I think. No, maybe not. Well, maybe. Oh yeah, it's a little keeper. There we go. Another little keeper on a dropping stick. So this time it's a green pumpkin, pepper with a little chartreuse tail, drop shot in it. It's not a little good keeper. I'm gonna let that one go and see if I can get a couple more. Oh, oh, there's a fish. On the pocket craw this time. going yep and his mouth looks red which means he's probably been feeding on red ads little guy and I switched up to pocket crawl in the green and red. It's got red on the bottom. Hee hee hee. Alright, see if I can get more on that. They're sleeping now. Oh, oh, there's a fish. <laughs> right as I say they're done and they packed it in, I go and catch a little fish.
Olga. Back to the dropping stick. New pumpkin and chartreuse tail. Oh, there's fish. Wow. <laughs> he hit that thing and took off. There's another little fish. Not too little, that's good. Alright. Green pumpkin pepper chartreuse tail. That's what that one hit. Oh, there was a fish. <laughs> oh, man. Stripped me. Alright, maybe I will sit in this spot for a little bit longer. Darn it. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Where's the sailor done disappeared? What happened? I go and catch a little fish. Wow, he's fat. Look at his belly. He's been doing some eating. Why can't the rest of them eat like him? Alright, I think that's going to do it for this edition of Santa Coast Bass. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I had fun. Got to show you some of our drop shot baits in action with the new hat cam. This is actually the cam. You can tell I got the little screw in it. Uh, if you haven't tried it, slow rolling in, in shallow water. This is definitely shallow water. Give it a try. I said these are tough, tough conditions. Don't know how much longer I'm going to be fishing. I'm the last one of everybody left. Haven't seen another one of my friends fishing in like three weeks. So check out some of our baits we were using. Our flip and drop and bug and our uh, drop and stick. Uh, they work great, even in these tough, tough conditions I'm in. So yeah, there you go. Like I said, hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I see you next show.